Twinkles and welcome to a new video on my channel. We are here at the Pride El Sanatorium and I will be showing you a guide on how you can find your way to the sanatorium, how you can survive, and how you can take the nurse applications. I hope this video will be very enlightening and I hope you enjoy. Sanatorium. Many of you requested to see um, um, the Pride Al Sanatorium videos and a guide on how you can reach to the sanatorium itself and today I will be helping you guys on that. So let us um, all begin our journey to the Holy Sanatorium. If you are wondering why my username is different, um, that is because I am on my alt account as an islander. So we are currently early awakened and we have reached the spawn area. So the spawn area, most of you get lost here. So I will show you how you can um, exit this place. So once you've entered the spawn, you will be located somewhere here. So what I need you guys to do is um, walk all the way here until you find this hole here at the bottom. And then you keep going straight and then you will head to your right. To your right is where you will see the island. Oh, the boat just left. Okay, anyways, um, here we are and we will head to the dock where we can wait for the next um, ride. So that place way up there, though that looks like a massive palace, <laughs> is the sanatorium. And to its right is the blimp. The blimp is where it takes you to the new holy isles called Les Beyonds. So yeah. As you are waiting, you can grab a pride melon that spawns over here somewhere, but currently there are none. So while you are waiting, you can also rest here inside the cabins to recharge up your energy while waiting for the um, next ride to catch. But if you would like the shorter and quicker way, you can always take the zip line. However, it costs Robux for you to take. And you can purchase it here or at the shop itself right here. So, so yeah. Also, I will explain to you some of the shop's um, items. So here. In the products, these are one-time, big-time use only. So first, we have the bouquet of roses. Um, you can give this to your favorite nurse or to anyone as an act of kindness and appreciation. Next is the one-time luxury zipline game, uh, game pass, I mean pass, which costs 66 Robux. Next, we have the, um, I call it the expired water. Um, next, we also have holy science that costs 111 robux and of course the silver watch it tells you the exact time however it is only used once so if you leave the game it will not appear anymore in your inventory next we have the game passes these game passes are uh, items that stay with you until 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 forever <laughs> technically so we have this the holy zip line uh, which costs 999 to 1000 robux depending where you buy it next we have the um, Deeper stomach if you want to have a higher metabolism you can obviously purchase this We have the gold watch this tells you the exact time and it will stay in your inventory forever um, Next we have the torium trainee game pass if you wish to work here at the sanatorium You can purchase this pass instantly and become a nurse whenever you guys want to. However, a great responsibility comes at a great cost of 3,333 Robux. So I hope that makes everything else clear and I see Pride Melons have already spawned in this tree. So on our way to our journey, it is a really long journey and you want to have some snacks with you just in case if you get hungry. So now the boat is approaching and we will wait until we can hop on it so we can head all the way to the sanatorium. 
and I will show you a guide on how you can make it there and how you can apply as a prestigious nurse. Okay, so just to make things clear, nurse applications are hosted every once a month. It usually is open from the first week of each month. However, no one knows the exact date nor time on when it will be um, released. So now that we have aboard the boat um, with the help of Jack the Pirate, we are just waiting until we reach to our next um, location drop-off. So yeah. Do you see the end of this line over here? That's where the zip line ends. So if you want to take the zip line, you can and it's a much quicker way for you to head to the sanatorium. But for most of you, I know you guys could not afford the zip line or at least the one time zip line ticket. So I am here to guide and assist you all the way. So we are almost at the dock, and once you reach to the dock, I will fast forward the video um, so you will know where to head right after. We are almost there, and I am really excited. Yep, okay. And we have arrived, so let us all head now to the sanatorium. I will be fast forwarding from here, so yeah. This is how the sanatorium looks like. So it is currently almost 7 p.m. You can tell by this giant clock over here. That's a tip for you. Now you want to head to the dressing room and wear the uniforms. I want to wear the pink one. And there we have it. I believe it is dinner time, so we will be heading to the dining area and waiting for our meal. So, oh my, I believe it is already dorm time. However, yes, I believe meals have already been served. So, we will just be heading to the dorm or we can ask a nurse who are kind enough to hand me over a plate of meal. And yeah. Let's ask Bacon. Hello, nurse. Would you be so soy? <laughs> Would you be soy kind to give me food? Hiya. I just got here. I hope they could give me food because it'll be a long night. Nurse Bacon is so, I mean, soy nice to me. He will hand me food. 
because he knows that it will be a long night for me. And I need to head to a dorm immediately because nighttime is fast approaching and yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy. <laughs> so kind he is, so kind. So it'll be a long night. Oh my, I'm getting a blur. And hopefully I could find a dorm where people will just let me in. Oh my. Oh, there's a... Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. I need to find myself a safe place so I could survive the night. Most of these dorms are locked. I guess we could just hide somewhere. Ah! <laughs> oh my, most of these dorms are locked. Okay, I found one. I guess I am safe tonight. Oh my, it is so dark. It is so dark. Okay, so I will get back to you all in the morning. So. See you guys until then. Ah, it is finally daytime. Now we can exit our dorms and we can head for breakfast. Or we can get the resumes first. However, resumes typically open from uh, 9 a.m. I believe. We can wait here for now. Basically, be the first one in line. Let's just see how many are we. Oh, we're not that many, so it's no problem. Did you notice how my arm touches? That's the cause of the blur. And I think blurs are normal, so they're fine. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. Now we just have to wait for our breakfast before we head and claim our resumes the resumes look like this like this girl that like, like yeah it looks like that so we're gonna survive the day um and i will show you how you can survive the applications too so for now we are just waiting for our breakfast and waiting for everything else more people are coming in as well okay so once you've got the food you have to immediately go back to the podium at the front desk and claim the resumes but it's taking them a while so for now i could just eat my pride melon while waiting Oopsies. Now we're just waiting and waiting. What are the nurses doing? <laughs> I see them. Oops! Totally not looking at all. <laughs> and that's my nurse friend as well. Finally, we're gonna have breakfast. Now we can head back to the front desk, podium rather, and claim our resumes because um, resumes open from 9 to 11 a.m. And then you turn, in, you turn your resumes in there. As you can see, the box is currently open. However, the gate is locked. We can try asking the nurse to open the um the gate. Nurse, can you please open this gate? And then you will have to turn them in. However, turning in the resumes are from. 7 to 8 a.m. Once you have finished applying. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. But I am already in there, so. Yeah. The It is currently 8 a.m. up there, so we just have to wait for the resumes here. 
Let's greet the nurses. Good morning. Once they started to spawn, be sure to get the resumes and fill up everything. Applying for a nurse. Oh no, I am just curious. Giggles. <laughs> I wanted to be enlightened. Smiles. <laughs> She's nice. Okay. We're just waiting. It is almost 9 a.m. My two favorite nurses. <laughs> Looks like. Me and this girl named Sarah would like to apply, however, yes, the applications are here, getting resume, and we got the resume. Okay, so let us look for a comfortable area. I think this area is fine. Okay, so you click on the resumes and you open resumes, um, and then you will be given a set of information over here, and whenever you answer, you have to always click the filter. Make sure that the filters are on so that it will not cause any more problems to your applications. And yes. Also, just a reminder please always be careful when leaving the sanatorium because once you leave the sanatorium, your resumes will disappear from your inventory. So if you do have your resumes, just stay inside the sanatorium, do not leave. The farthest from leaving is just until the playground. Because you're technically in the sanatorium zone. So you can fill out the questions while waiting, throughout the day, and everything else. Um, yeah, that's basically it. We're also gonna wait for an activity that will be given by the nurses and everything else. Greetings. Oh, I sound too formal. Let's try to sound like a patient. Hi. What activity can we have next? You must look happy. <laughs> there are people who are serious about applying and I wish them the best of luck. Probably cleaning. That's great. Okay. So once you are waiting, you can always get back here and you can answer something like here while waiting, you just put like here, hello, hi, hi. And then once you have the um, answers, you will be given a check mark, meaning your answers have been um, received. And once you get the resume, you always want to turn them in. But it only opens from, as I said earlier, 7 to 8 a.m. So we're going to wait for the next activities and how you can survive it. While applying, of course. And yeah. Cleaning. Okay. So the storage closet is up here. And we're gonna claim our cleaning materials and we're gonna be a holy patient. Thank you so much. Oops, my spelling. Thank you so much. And then after you can just get back to the resumes and do your work. like oh hold on here you could just like say or anything while they are doing the um cleaning activities you can always take a resume and answer while waiting and be sure to always grab holy water once it reaches 12 pm 
so in the meantime we're just gonna keep cleaning the holy water just arrived so um as a patient you have to head to the lecture hall oh my <laughs> uh, just so you know you cannot um touch the casket nor claim holy water only the nurses can hand it to you so what you should do now is head to the lecture hall head this way oh my i'm having a blur and then you're here at the indoor garden you just want to keep going straight until you reach the lecture hall right over here and you patiently wait for the water maybe you could just like wait here also um once you are seriously taking the um, resume you could just like sit here throughout the day and skip some activities and just accomplish your resume and you just wait for the arrival of holy water just like them they are answering their resumes while waiting for holy water so now we are just gonna wait as well because holy water is really important it helps heal the blurs that everyone is experiencing um, so for now I just want to keep some of my stuff in the inventory area the box and we will wait for more <laughs> Thank you so much. And then now you can just drink it and then your screen will flash white, meaning that you are in the healing process, which is a very holy thing. <laughs> and you're just gonna wait until the blur is gone. And once it is gone, you're gonna see that you have an empty jar. So what you can do is go here at the back and you can dispose it to like lessen the clutter in your uh, inventory so yeah while waiting you always get back to the resumes and answer it or do however you want so yeah now we're just gonna keep waiting until the next activity is there and done Oh my <laughs> sister <laughs> just like this lady over here she's answering while waiting for the next enlightenment and I believe that's what you should do too and uh, during the night it could become catastrophic so you have to be sure that you have a dorm for yourself it's a first come first serve basis so be sure to grab one before um, nightfall is upon us Oh my, her head. What happened to her head? <laughs> now we have a new activity, playground. So the playground is just right here. You just keep going straight until you exit right over here. Then you have to head downstairs. Down here. purpose of the playground see we are having so much fun right now <laughs> swinging high and high so that's what we can do but, oh my oh my <laughs> don't I just look happy <laughs> Of course, you can answer while waiting for whatever enlightenment is gonna happen next. You know, you shouldn't be trolling in this game because it's not cute and it's not fun because the nurses here are very hardworking and they make sure that they bring quality service to everyone. 
So all you can do is just appreciate them for all their hard work. And yeah. <laughs> Nurse Bacon is so nice. Ah, look, they are so adorable. Let's just say adorable. <laughs> We're playing a game of Sister Says. <laughs> Yay! Sister Says, see this girl is very serious about her application. And that's alright, she could answer it while... You know, we're having this... Um... Activities. Oh, I didn't slide, I just walked through it. <laughs> oh, I am stuck! <laughs> Sister says, stand and dance. I am stiff. <laughs> I cannot dance. How to dance? <laughs> How to dance? Stick. <laughs> Sister says stop and turn around for two times. Okay, there we have it. One, two. <laughs> I think we are more now. Oh, we're just the same. What's next? Sister says go to the swings. Ah! I got one. Oh my, the swing is rather stiff. So stiff it is. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> that is so fun. Oh my, I did say sister, but not. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Ah, dinner. So once the activity is finished, you can all head to dinner, and I'll show you where it is once again. So after exiting here, you can just like, go straight and go here, um, and then just go all the way up to the oh my your head <laughs> to the um. Cafeteria, and we see that as we await for our next meal. Oh my, my hunger is low. Anyway, let us just eat the starfish toast that we had earlier. Make sure that we are full for the night. And this is where you can dispose your plates, just right here. And there's another one right over here it is up to you depending on which is nearest to you so of course while waiting you can answer your resumes and no just wait until the next meal is served to us when is it alone <laughs> resumes because one resume per person also um, my tip in applying as a prestigious nurse is that you have to be completely honest with yourself speak from your heart and it will happen oh they're serving flamingo however I already have flamingo oh that's so sad so it's sad now that we have the uh, food we can all head to the dorms there are two ways the first one is you can head right over here down here however it is um, currently locked i suppose and we cannot unlock it so we can always take the other way which is oh my the way right over here um, 
first come first serve basis on dorm, so you have to be quick. Survive the night and making sure that the resume is still with us. So, yeah. Oh my, all dorm seems to be locked. That's okay, we can always find another one. Perhaps. Oof. They don't have. Oof! They're all locked. They're all locked. I should try to look for Nurse Vega and maybe he can help. Poor girl, I don't want her to perish. She needs to survive. Open the dorms, please. Please, soy. Open the dorms, please. Oh, oh my. Where are they? Open, please. Okay, thank you, nurse. You are so kind. Okay, we're here. Let's just follow whichever she. No, this. I want another one. Oh my. Okay, I'll take this one. Oh, you didn't open this. Okay, I'll just take this. Now we have to survive the night to ensure that our resumes will not disappear once something happens, if ever. Um, also, the first thing in the morning, you have to be sure that you turn in the resumes at the nursery room from, again, I repeat, from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. only. And make sure that all of the answers have the check marks and do your very best. I will get back to everyone again once it has reached morning. It is now morning once again and we're gonna head out and turn in the resumes by the nursery room. So let us all head out and find our way back to the front gates. Also, um, if you see that the gate is locked, you have to call a nurse's attention to open it because um, Turn-in period is strictly from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. sharp. So if you want to turn in on time, you have to look for runners who can open it so that you will not have to wait another full day for you to turn in your resumes. So uh, it's a good thing Sister Cupid is here. She can open the nursery for us. So we will not miss the deadline. She is very kind for helping us um, out. And of course, I have to play at the wrong time. Um, anyways, she is now opening it, as you can see by the shadows. And we're just gonna enter. Enter. If you see that the ballot box is open, be sure to like answer all of your questions. Don't miss a single item before you turn in. Um, the reason why Sarah can submit is because it is not yet 7 to 8 a.m. So she has to wait a little bit longer. And this and it is almost 7 a.m. as um, according to the statue clock. So we're gonna go back in and wait until it opens. So once it's open, you have to click on the ballot box so that your resumes will turn in. The reason why I cannot turn in my resume is because my answers are not complete. Um so yeah, if your answers are complete, you can turn them in already. Um, notice Sarah over here. She already clicked on the ballot box and her resume disappears from her hand. Meaning, if your resume disappear from your inventory, it has been successfully submitted. And you don't have to worry about it. You can just go on um, the day or you can leave the game if you wish to. So you have nothing to worry about. Um, as for me, just making sure that you have to answer everything and make sure that the filter checkbox are on. And this concludes my video. I hope you guys were enlightened and I hope you learned something from this divine video. Thank you all so much and farewell and be safe always, Twinkles!